Hi everyone. Uh, my my name is Sri Anmula Gaurang from Saint Joseph's College, Water Branch. Uh, this is the second time I'm competing in this competition. Last year I won the gold medal. This year my project is Maths Buddy. So these are my team details. My project title is Maths Buddy, as you know. My team name is Code Ninja SL because I think I'm a little Code Ninja. My my name, as you know, but I repeat again, is Rion Milagar Singh. I'm in grade four. The teacher in charge is Mrs. Alista Pereira, and my school is in Joseph's College, Water Branch, as you know. Okay, so this is the problem. I have I have seen many of my friend I have seen a lot of my friends play mobile games and video games but unfortunately I'm not allowed to play any my mother won't let me to play any mobile games she tells me I can play a mobile game only if I develop them myself I thought of combining my passion for mathematics and coding to develop a creative app for me and other kids like me to sharpen their mathematical skills. This is how Math Buddy was created. Okay, so here's a little bit introduction about Math Buddy. So Math Buddy is a fun and simple app that is. That has up to five levels, and that you can practice with multiplication, subtraction, division, and addition. So this is I the technology I have used is MIT App Inventor. That's the only technology I have used. So so this is these are the features of my system. So this is the MathBuddy homepage. So this 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 system starts with these follow following navigation options, the user login, which is for users that have already been registered, and new user registration, which is for for people who are new to a Match Buddy. So so this is Match Buddy new use registration. And a new user can be registered by filling out the form below, and the data will be transferred to a cloud DB. So this is the MathBuddy user login. Registered users can log into the system by clicking login button using the username and password they have given. So this is the MathBuddy. Option selection page. So once a once a per, once a user is logged in, they will they will go to pay they will go to this page. So he, so in this page you can choose what the mark you want to and the level. So. So, for example, if you choose the the addition one, it will turn green, and then you can choose the level one. And then, when you submit it, it will direct you to screen like this. This is the MathBuddy quiz page where all the quizzes are made. If you work out the sums. If you work out the sums correctly, it will show a message. So when when you're done, you would submit the answer, and the message will show, and then you go on to the next. Then when you click next, it will go to next question. So this green bar op 
on near the top is the time bar. It its size decreases when the time decreases. So this is the max buddy summary page. After you completed all all ten page all ten questions, it'll go to a it will go to this page it will go to this page and then you can see the score will the score in in the first label and then it will give you a feedback or or evaluation then it will if you want you can play it again and again These are the challenges I have faced and the future developments I would like to make. This program is more suitable for kids like myself that are in the primary. I wanted to add a separate part for nursery kids like my sister, which is to use the app, to use the other side of the app to so to ident for picture identification and coloring but i only got to know about the deadline for the project submission in this in this competition 2 days ago and i had no time to code that i am going to add those feature in features in future developments i recently started learning mit app inventor and i'm so glad that i got this opportunity to do this project using a mighty app inventor so here's so here's the fun part this is the system and coding part so let me show you so this is where i did my coding oh, this is a mighty app inventor so this is match this is match very home page so so let's see the coding in this page so there's a there's not much coding in this page because there's not many functions so if you click the the start edge button or the login button it will direct you to the login screen if you press button 1 which is which is the new user registration button it will direct you to the new user registration screen so let's go to new user registration screen and see what's there here it is so this is the new user registration screen let's see how much coding is in this one so it starts the codings the first bit of coding starts with the submit button because there is not much because there is because there is because there is not much function except the submit button that you can see so th that is why i started with this so here it's i've set a comma i've set a if block and said if person a if the first name user or the user's name or the other stuff is empty set caller and alert i haven't given it an alert yet but i will so if it's not if it's not empty it will call it will it will call it will it will start the procedure call add and at the same time it it will open select level so this is the add procedure so this call cloud db1 append value to list is the is the block that adds something is the block that adds something to the to the cloud db so you have so i have given a tag that which is a which is the which is a mix of the first name and the second name and is a mix of the second first name and then the and then what i'm say, saving so i add the what i add the text from the text boxes and then i add all of them 
So this is the this is the coding for but this is the coding for new user registration. Oh and this is the coding for new user registration back button. As you can see it will direct you to question it will direct you to uh, screen one. So let's start with the login screen submit button. So as before it checks if it's empty and then it checks if it's equal to pre given name and pre given password. So if it is so if it is correct, it opens another screen. It opens the screen select value and it sends the and it sends the start value with it. So if it's wrong, it in, it sends the error message. So let's see the other text. So this is the so this is the back button. I so that is the back button. So in the login screen, there's a checkbox. If you check it, it shows the password, and if you uncheck it, it doesn't show the password. So if it it checks if it is it it checks if it's checked, and then it gives the order. So let's that was the login screen. So le let's see what the select level has to holding it looks like so here you know this is the login screen i mean this is the select level screen so let's see what it's blocking blocks are okay so i'm starting with okay i'm starting with this when wins select level Initialize. So this is actually so it's so this block is is operated when the screen is initializing. So it says the name which is let me which is which is this right here which is that it says the name to the start value we gave earlier. So it checks if the time it checks if the time is before 12 o'clock it's it says good morning and if it's after 12 o'clock it says good evening so that's that so then we go on to this so the those marks are pictures so when you click that picture it sets that to the other it sets that picture to the green color picture and it sets all the other pictures to the, to the normal one so if you didn't do that you could click one it will turn green if you could and you could click click one while the other one is green and that will also turn green if you didn't do that so other ones so image two is plus image three is minus image four is multiplication I made three is divisive. So I made three variables here. Yeah. So so uh, at the bottom of each, there's it sets it sets what the it sets what it sets what mark you have chosen to a variable. So let's then look that and so in so after that when you select a level it also select it also sends to a variable what the level you choose chose is. There are five for each. So so this button one is the sub is the submit button. So when you click that it's, it makes the global mark which is the marks and the global level which is the levels to one single variable called global mark level so after that it sends it sends it sends the user to the question screen and while it's doing that it sends a start value which is the global mark level so let's see what the question is. So let's see what 
what corn blocks are in the question? So this is the question screen. As you all know. So in the question questions blocks, we start with the when question screen initializes. So I set I set the clock, which is the timer, to to be enabled. So and I put the feedback label to be invisible. So so it checks if the start if the start value is a is a specific text. So if it if it is true, it sets the label. It sets a diff, it sets it sets a it sets a different label. It sets a different label. It sets a random number for the label. So here. I was going to tell you this earlier, but I want to tell it now. The range for the first label level is zero to nine. So, so the so the level for the second level is two to 20, zero to twenty five, and for the Third level, it is zero to fifty, and for the fourth level, it is fifty to hundred. So for so for the fifth fifth level, it is one hundred seventy to five hundred. So I will set twenty of these if blocks in this to check if the to check if the specific the, the specific start value is is what is the start value. So this so the these they this change. So so that's the coding for that. Okay, so let's check the submit button. So in the submit button, it checks if the if it checks if the mark it checks if the mark is it checks if the marks it checks if it's the specific mark. So this is the mark. This is the one for for division. So we I start from level five and go down for division. The level isn't important here. The only thing important in the submit button is the map. Because I cannot, because I don't know how to separate it, I I did it this way. So it check, it checks if and ran if it checks if a, a random number is div is divided, added or subtracted, or multiplied by another random number. So you might think that if we do if we do that, the answer will always be wrong. But I don't, because when this all happens in split second, the computer will choose the same number that it chose before and put it here. So there are these these other four are for other marks, and this is the code for the time. So for the timer, I I've set a variable. So the time every time the the timer completes two seconds, it 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 sets this it sets this variable global name by minus one. So I say ask if it is if the global name is one, set it to image one, which is uh. Which is the image for which is the image for two seconds left, and so on and so on. So it checks if the global it checks if the global name equals to zero. Then 
if it's equal to zero, it's it on it disables the clock and the submit button. It it checks if the submit button is it sets the submit button it sets the submit button enabled to false. It is disabled disabling the submit button so so this is the coding for next button so like so like the so like the time when you click the button the, the 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 next button it it sets global name to it adds one to global name two. So in global name, when this, when the, when the variable, when the button is clicked ten times, the it is set, it is set to false, and it goes to the summary. It goes to the summary, and the and it sets the global name three. So. It, the other coding is the same as the, the other coding is the same as for the screen for the question screen to initialize so there's one thing I forgot to tell you about the submit button so when I so I set the label button which is the feedback button to true and also if it and I also I add a variable and I add one to variable this variable checks if how much you right what sums you got right and how much you got wrong so now let's check the summary so let's see what the summary code looks like so this is the summary screen as you know so let's start with the back button when you click the back button it goes to the question goes to the question when you click home button when you click home button sends you all the way back to the main page I mean the home page so when the screen initializes it's it sets the label tree which is the uh, map which is the which is like the which is how much which is how much you got correct to to uh, let's see it says it joins you got the start value you we add the start value which is how much you got from the from the question and then we add the start value and then we set the out of 10 button so if it checks if what you if the start value is more is is smaller or equal to four it it says the the label it sets the label to to practice more and it sets the label color to red and if it's more or equal to five it sets the label to text to well done and the color to orange so for if it's so if for eight if it's bigger or equal to eight it sets the text to excellent and if it's and sets the label to text color to green so that is the end of the coding now it's time for our favorite part, the demonstration. So it right now it just came. I'm going to end, go to sign in. Okay, I'm going to sign in. It's okay. I'm going to enter my first name. My name in Rion. 
my last name and the date I was born Because I mean, now I'm in the login screen. Username is. It has, you can, you can add, subtract, multiply, divide. So level one is the easiest level, and level five is the not is is the hardest level. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose plus level one and submit. No, it's just correct. Now let's go to ne the next one. Now, okay, now I'm going to enter a wrong answer. I'm going to enter two. See, it says, oh no, your answer is wrong. Okay, right now I'm in the summary page. Once you answer all 10 questions, you come to the summary page. It's, it gives you how many marks you've got and and it gives you an evaluation or feedback. See I got 9 out of 10 and I got excellent in green color. Which means it is that is the highest level I can reach. Future development they are I have I I'm in this I wish to do it in the future. Thank you. I hope you loved my presentation and my coding. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also watch it. So, thank you for watching.